Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our 2014 Week 1 Canadian Football League preview between the Toronto Argonauts and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Now let's size up both teams in this matchup, starting with the Argos. The Argos come into this Week 1 matchup armed with enough weapons offensively to build on what they did last season. The same cast of characters return in quarterback Ricky Ray, slotbacks Chad Owens and Andrew Dury, as well as Jason Barnes. The new faces on offense are in the backfield with running back Anthony Combs, a rookie out of Manitoba, and left tackle Matt Sewell, who was the Argos draft pick last season and was the consensus number one prospect in last year's draft. Those who would have to have a huge impact this season for the Argos to maintain or exceed their 2013 offensive output. Defensively, there was a massive overhaul in the offseason at every level, and their defensive line will be the biggest question mark entering this year. Can guys like Greg Romeo and Thaddeus Gibson get pressure on a quarterback consistently? Can free agent signee linebacker Shea Emery bring the same type of impact at the second level for the Argos like he did during his six seasons in Montreal for the Alouettes? These are some of the questions that will start getting answered this week versus Winnipeg. And outside of Jaleel Brown back there in the secondary, there's still a lot of uncertainty in the back end. Drew Willie comes over from the Saskatchewan Rough Riders to be the starting quarterback for the Blue Bombers, and Willie played well enough last season in limited action to garner a lot of attention in free agency from other teams. I believe he'll provide stability at the pivot position, and I'm a big fan of the Bombers' offensive line with Glenn January, Chris Graves, and 2014 draft pick Matthias Gosen. They'll do a fine job in keeping Willie well protected while also opening up running lanes for Will Ford. And Ford won't have to split carries this year with Chad Simpson. He gets his opportunity to be the guy. The Bombers are big at receiver with Corey Watson and also Aaron Kelly. And Clarence Denmark brings that shiftiness and agility to the table that gives defenses fits. Defensively, the Bombers are stout in the middle with defensive tackles Brian Turner and also Jake Thomas. What they lack in size, they make up for it in quickness and ability to get to the quarterback. Now, going as linebacker Hanak Mwamba and defensive back Jovan Johnson, they'll sorely be missed, but they'll also be without Corey Banks, Donovan Alexander, as well as Alex Suber for this first game. So like the Argonauts, the Bombers have some legit question marks on defense as they enter the season. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this ball game. For Toronto, they have to develop the running game. Anthony Combs is a rookie back there. He's a big time playmaker and they have to get their running game going to take some of the pressure off their passing attack. And I will go with a small ball approach in the passing game. They have some amazing slot backs and Chad Owens, a flying Hawaiian, and Andre Dury as well as Jason Barnes. All guys are dangerous after the catch so they can take advantage that they have in the passing game versus that linebacking core of Winnipeg. And don't lose contain defensively because we know Drew Willie can get outside the the pocket and extend plays and also will forward has the speed to take it the distance if you lose contain and lose gap integrity and for the bombers in this ball game they have to be able to get interior pressure they must stay in the face of quarterback ricky ray and if they can do that with those two outstanding defensive tackles bryant tucker and jake thomas it bodes well for the bombers chances to knock off toronto and they have to set the tempo and control the pace of this ball game they must decide how this game will be played and if they can do that with that offensive attack they have with that offensive line Again, they have a great chance of knocking off Toronto and playing winning special teams is always first and foremost for any football team. But when you look at the Bombers, they have a great return unit and also coverage units. I think they can win that aspect of the game, which makes their job a lot easier on offense and defense. The key matchup in this ball game will be the Argos intermediate passing game. Those slot backs with Jason Barnes, Andre Dury, and Chad Owens versus the linebacking core of the Blue Bombers. Remember, they're going to be without Corey Banks, who's going to play the pseudo linebacker role. All they have is Ian Wild right now in the middle, and he's going to have to hold his own versus the rest of this passing game, getting those other linebackers up to speed to contend. If they can slow down the slot backs of Toronto, they have a great chance at knocking off the Argos at home in week one. The X Factor in this ball game for Toronto will be their rookie running back, Anthony Coombs. If he can be that dynamic playmaker that they had in Chad Cackard, it goes a long way in helping Toronto come away victorious. Coombs will have to do it all in both the running game as well as a receiver out of the backfield. And the X Factor for the Bombers will be that offensive line. Again, they have the advantage up front versus Toronto and they can lean on that defensive front and keep Drew Willie well protected and open up holes for Will Ford. The Bombers can knock off the Toronto Argonauts in week one. So again, that offensive line will play a huge role in the outcome of this ball game for Winnipeg.
Running back Dick Shadow was an outstanding player for the Toronto Argonauts, a two-time CFL All-Star, eight-time East All-Star, and a two-time Jeff Russell Memorial Trophy Award winner. In his career for the Argonauts, which spanned from 1954 to 1965, he scored 91 touchdowns in his career, which ranked eighth all-time, and his 13,642 total yards of offense ranked first at the time he retired, which now ranks seventh. Jerry James is a legend in the CFL and also spent time in the NHL as well. Played for Winnipeg from 1952 to 1962, was a two-time CFL West All-Star, two-time Most Outstanding Player, and he's the second all-time Canadian running back with 5,554 yards and 57 touchdowns. Now here's a quick look at our fantasy football huddle. Guys, in this matchup, you should start and sit. I would start quarterback Ricky Ray versus this Bombers secondary. I think he should have a lot of success right out of the gate throwing the football. I'd also go with Chad Owens because of his multi-purpose ability and what he brings to the table as a receiver, as a runner, and also as a returner. Aaron Kelly for the Bombers has had a lot of success historically against the Argos, and Will Ford would be another must-start as I feel the Bombers will lean on him early and often behind that outstanding offensive line. And I would sit quarterback Drew Willie. Again, timing is important, and I don't think they'll have that down right away in week one. Slot back Corey Watson is another sit because of both Aaron Kelly, but also the fact that they will tilt covers toward his way to try to take him out of the ball game. And Spencer Watt for the Argos won't get the looks as opposed to the slot backs this week because of the matchup. And I would also sit the Bombers defense and special teams. Remember, they're missing some key guys this week on the defensive side of the ball, so it's better to hold off against starting these guys versus Toronto. I like the Argos in this ball game. Continuity is key in football, and the Argos, especially in the CFL, have a good nucleus returning on offense in the passing game with Ricky Ray and his favorite targets at wide receiver. I think that'll be enough to outgun the Blue Bombers on the road. And don't forget to tune in live every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time for Football Game Plan's Road to the Great Cup podcast as we break down every game on the CFL schedule, give you fantasy football advice, and also bring you all of the news, notes, and tidbits from around the Canadian Football League. And again, that's every Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time on the Football Game Plan Radio Network located at blogtalkradio.com slash footballgameplan. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to CFL Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.